Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Praise be to Allah, the most beneficial, the most merciful, and the peace and blessings be upon His final Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, inshallah, we start uh, from what we have uh, stopped last time. We mentioned in the book the correct belief and what opposes it, which was written by Imam Abdul Aziz Ibn Barzad. This book is based on explaining and clarifying the five pillars of Iman, which are belief in Allah, His angels, His books, His messengers, the last day, and the divine pre decree. Today we start with belief in Allah or faith in Allah. And what does it mean? And what does it entail? He said first, faith in Allah entails believing that He is the only true God that has right to be worshipped apart from everyone else due to His being the Creator. Here, He said that Allah is the only one true God. And this is why he has right to be worship and all the other deities, all the other gods which are worshipped all over the world are false gods and none of them deserves to be worshipped because Allah is the creator of the heavens. Allah is the creator of all his servants, the two species, jinn and ins. The one who is kind to them, the grantor of their sustenance, the all knower of their inner and outer actions. All these things Allah does them alone. And no one can do any one of these things. No one can know the inner and the outer actions of every human being or every creation. The one who is all able to reward those who obey him and punish those who disobey him. Allah created those two species, the jinn and the mankind, for the purpose of this worship. He says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ This is a chapter under the name Az-Zariyat verse number 58 and I did not create the jinn and the mankind except to worship me and I do not seek any provision from them nor that they should feed me here we can understand that belief in Allah entails to uh, worship Allah alone this is because he is a creator it's because he's the only one who looks after his creations and all of the deities that are worshipped. Some people, as we said last time, worship stones. Some others worship grave sites. You see, I mean, uh, even they call themselves Muslims, but still they worship grave sites. They think those people or saints or uh, the good worshippers who have died many years ago they think that these people can be, uh, be uh, something like mediators between them and Allah they can think that uh, uh, submission to these uh, pious people or saints will get them closer to Allah so they supplicate to them, they submit to them, they uh, ascribe them as partners to Allah, so as to get them closer to Allah. And this is what Allah calls it shirk, or calls it disbelief. And the disbelievers who were at the time of the Prophet Muhammad have the same thing as the, the, the people do at this time. They ascribe partners to Allah, thinking that these partners are so closer to Allah 
and when they supplicate to them, when they submit to them, they get them closer to Allah. The same thing happens today. The contemporary polytheist or the people who uh, are considered as disbelievers nowadays, even though they call themselves as Muslims, they consider themselves as Muslims, but they commit the same kind of shirk which is committed, which is performed in the first days of the disbelievers at the time of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu At that time, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu called them mushrikeen or disbelievers because they did the same thing which is done nowadays. So that you have to be careful about these things. Don't worship anyone beside Allah. Don't submit to anyone beside Allah. You have to single Allah out alone with all of your worship. Establishing prayers, uh, seeking refuge, uh, asking, doing uh, prayers, uh, prayers and whatever kind of ibadah. You have to single Allah out and worship Allah alone. Never ascribe any partners to Allah. This is the most important thing. This is the most important thing in Islam. So, I know that some of uh, the preachers of Islam and call themselves du'at all over the world. Many people who come the, call themselves as du'at to Islam, preachers for Islam, they simplify this issue, thinking that it is not so important to, to call people to single Allah out uh, alone with all the work. I, they think that it's not so important. But you have to be careful because Allah created all of us, even jinn and ins and all of us created us for this thing. So if you commit any shirk in ibadah, in what Allah wants you to uh, worship Him alone, this will be a disbelief and you will be one of the losers in the life hereafter. So I advise myself on all of the audience that you have to be careful about this uh, watch out read carefully and learn about Islam and the correct belief and what opposes it thank you very much inshallah next time we'll meet